this is maria khan your master teacher of biology here at vedantu guys welcome to the session and today we are going to cover the very first session of this chapter heredity and evolution that is heredity and variation so what are we exactly going to study today we are going to study uh, the definition of heredity the definition of genetics uh, what's variation and the significance of variation so all these questions which i have mentioned right now uh, they are like very important questions you will experience at least one question asked in your exam from all these ones okay so to find out the answers to this question chalo let's get started and guys if you are new to our channel subscribe and hit on the bell icon and others you know what has to be done hit on the like button call your friends share this video with your friends and here we go chalo my you army let's get started so first of all let's understand certain basics of heredity basically what's heredity now students uh, usually when someone is born in our family or uh, um, in our acquaintances okay usually our mama drags us to their place hai na ki chal beta mere saath chal mere saath chal and when we see the baby the tiny tot we actually say ki mama mama his uh, cheeks are i mean he has a dimpled cheek just like his dad the baby has curly hair just like his mom the baby has got blue eyes just like his grandmother hai na so most of the features are actually a uh, similar to uh, that of the parents or maybe their grandparents agreed agreed like many times whenever i go anywhere along with my mom so they say ki are uh, your mom is very fair but uh, you're not that fair however uh, your mom is having a dimple chin and you too have a dimple chin yes of course so i have received this trait from my mother but how guys we inherit certain characters from our parents so how are they getting inherited there should be certain means right so something is getting passed from our parents to us and that something is what we call it as genes so guys the genes are getting transferred from parents to the offsprings correct and this is a process it's a biological process where the genes are being transferred from parents to the offsprings and that process is what we call it as heredity okay so this is a one mark definition and i have a simpler definition for this so here we go the process of transfer of characteristics the process of transfer of characteristics from parents to the offsprings parents to the offsprings is known as heredity is known as heredity yo yo so yeah this is a one mark definition very amazing definition right now students just now i mentioned that i have a dimple chin just like my mom but my complexion is totally different my dad is also fair my brother is also fair my grandparents on both the sides are fair maternal as well as paternal i am the only one who is born with a darker complexion in our entire family tree so i am different from others so in my family i am a classic example of variations so differences in the characters that are seen from rest of the other population is what we call it as variation so bachcha party we need to understand now how exactly the genes are being transmitted why a particular trait is being expressed why a trait is not being expressed for example in my case why my complexion is not fair as my parents i am not complaining i am happy with my complexion but yes we need to understand the scientific reason behind the process right so the study of genes the study of the process of heredity and why variations occur everything is collectively coming under a branch which we call it as genetics the study of genes the study of heredity the study of variation everything comes under genetics okay so in examination again this is asked for one marks so the study of heredity what is heredity it is a process of transfer of characters from parents to the offspring via genes right so that's what we call it as heredity now we understood what's heredity what's variation what's genetics so genetics basically is a branch of biology in which we actually study about genes okay perfect now guys as i mentioned that variations occur so are variations important let us understand okay so guys many a times variations occur and uh, sometimes 
the variations are useful sometimes the variations are useless or harmful and when they are useless or harmful they may lead to certain genetic disorders and it could be harmful for that pop, uh, that particular individual or maybe for an entire population as well for example if an individual is born with a hole in the heart now that's not normal everyone has a normal heart but if one individual has this issue that won't be a survival advantage right that would be a disadvantage so variations can be useful variations can be harmful as well okay so today let's talk about the useful variations of variations how they prove beneficial to an organism okay so usually say ki variations are b variations are b this i have already covered in a uh, reproduction chapter but still i am covering it again okay variations are b so your b stands for biodiversity there is life on the planet earth emerged as one single cell one single prokaryotic cell then eukaryotic cell then unicellular to multicellular then multicellular also aquatic amphibian terrestrial aerial arboreal we have so much of diversity today the life around us is such a a beauty right so bachcha variation helps in increasing biodiversity that's very first point second variations also help in bringing adaptation it helps an individual to adapt to the changing environmental conditions okay for example this polar bear it is a thick layer of fat that's called as blubber underneath its skin which helps him to uh, trap the heat inside its body and survive in the cold climatic conditions its fur coat color is white so that it can easily camouflage in the cold environmental conditions camels they have thick and long eyelashes to prevent the sand particles entering into the eye they have a hump at the back to store water so yes variations do allow an organism to adapt in the changing environmental conditions theek hai then e variations lead to evolution now what does that mean so guys whenever variations occur they keep on accumulating from one generation to another they keep on accumulating like generation 1 10 changes generation 2 10 more changes so total 20 generation 3 10 more changes so total changes 30 so as the variations go on accumulating 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 over thousands of generations down the line we see a massively different organism altogether which we call as a new species a new species is born right like we human beings a new species has been evolved from apes correct so we are totally different from apes in so many manners like apes had arms which were so long that they could extend right till the knees we don't have such long arms hai na their jaw line was very broad and protruding outside no our jaw line has uh, uh, sh sh uh, shrinked to a tremendous level it can't even accommodate our wisdom teeth right then brain enlargement happened uh, we have improved in terms of intelligence apart from that uh, uh, initially we were quadrupeds now we are bipeds we can stand erect on two feet and we can even walk initially we had this thumb which was this long like i'm talking about apes now we have an opposable and a shorter thumb right so it helps in holding objects it helps in grip right so accumulation of these variations over generations together eventually leads to formation of new species and that's what we call it as evolution okay evolution refers to slow and gradual changes in an organism over several generations which eventually leads to the development of a new species okay that's the definition yeah so significance of variation so b a e and last e it helps in prevention of extinction now guys uh, if i ask about extinction you will say ma'am dodos got extinct dinosaurs got extinct yes or no so if i ask you the reasons why you will say ki ma'am uh, a meteorite got hit on the planet earth then there was uh, dust particles suspended in the air there was a cloud of dust sun rays could not penetrate through it there was an ice age 
because of ice age plants could not perform photosynthesis most of the dinosaurs were herbivores they could not find food and uh, first plants died and then the dinosaurs got extinct now just imagine just imagine if dinosaurs had the potential to hibernate for years together you know, i'm just stating a hypothetical statement okay just like an amoeba can remain encysted for thousands of years right until the return of favorable conditions so just like miniature amoeba if this giant dinosaurs had such miraculous power matlab dinosaurs could have been managed to stay alive till date right just an assumption okay iska vastavikta se koi sambandh nahi hai so yeah uh, variations help in prevention of extinction okay one example dodos also they could not uh, tolerate encroachment of other organisms in their habitat encroachment of human beings in their habitat uh, they were extensively killed they were hunted down and uh, they could not adapt to this fast paced changes and thus they perished correct hai na uh, and this example of industrial mechanism uh, sorry industrial melanism it proves how this moths they had a change in their wing color and actually this this is the case of a beetle by the way but uh, i'm telling you ki in industrial melanism uh, the wings of the moth got changed to black and thus on the tanned barks of the tree they were able to camouflage and they had a better rate of adaptation right better rate of better chances of survival so variations is big it leads to biodiversity it helps in adaptation it prevents extinction and it finally leads to evolution so two marks question significance of variation that's being asked in your examination so guys i covered all the topics with possibility of marks which could be asked in the examination i hope you have well understood this if yes like share subscribe post me your guys now bachcha party how many of you are a uh, fan of akr sir amrit sir anubha ma'am harsh priyam sir amit sir ankana ma'am i'm pretty sure along with ninth and tenth english channel you are a super duper fan of hindi channel as well right if you are don't miss this chance because we have started a yt exclusive pro subscription where there is a crash course for grade 10 grade 10 crash course your exam start from 26th of april if i'm not wrong right feb already done to abhi kya bacha we have march in our hand right so we have this course for you which will be run by all your favorite master teachers jinka naam maine abhi just liya okay so how many of you are interested in enrolling in that batch matlab if i uh, i was a student of your age i would have definitely enrolled matlab amrit sir se kisko nahi padhna hai yaar ek yaar sir ki physics class mein to kya maza aata hai so bachcha if you want to enroll let me show you how okay so um just a moment let me take you to one of my youtube videos so guys this is one of my videos you can go to the ongoing video okay and you may go to the description box in the description box you will find n number of links you have to go to this drona cbsc class 10 revision enrollment link okay i repeat Druna CBC Class Ten Revision Enrollment Link. Click on this link. Okay, it will take you to a page. Okay, so here, what are we covering in this batch? All the six subjects: Physics, Chem, Bio, English, Maths, and SS. Run by all your favorite MTs on YouTube Hindi channel. Okay, the mode of instruction would of course be English Hindi plus English. There will be subject wise tests. notes and replays will be available to you okay now you can choose your plan light as well as classic there are two plans now beta today is like an amazing day for you q q we are offering you 1000 rupee off okay to so beta live interactive classes test series and analysis doubt solving uh, during the class okay तो ये सारा आपको प्रो लाइट के साथ मिलेगा एंड इफ यू नीड अ डाउट सॉल्विंग एप अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस यू ऑफर द प्रो क्लासिक वन ओके सो सी अगर आप यहाँ देखते हो ना यहाँ तो व्हेन यू गो एंड क्लिक ऑन बाय कंप्लीट कोर्स ओके 
it's showing like 2300 right but uh, technically speaking aap aaj ke session ki link mein jaoge na to it's 1000 rupee off from 25th 26th and 27th flat 1000 rupee off on this drona batch okay flat 1000 rupee off mujhe yahan pe dikhai nahi de raha hai mujhe 2300 dikhai de raha hai are ha are main bhi kya मैं तो पागल हूँ ओके ज्यादा दिख रहा है ना उल्टा यहाँ पे सो या 2300 पे आपको ये कोर्स मिलेगा सो बाय दिस कंप्लीट कोर्स ओके देखो सारे फेवरेट टीचर्स हैं अमृत सर है अमित रोरा सर है अनुभा मैम है अंकना मैम है अभिषेक सर है हर्षप्रियम सर है सो ऑफ फॉर दिस प्रो लाइट एंड बी अ वेदन एक्सपीरियंस द गुडनेस ऑफ वेदांत यू विल डेफिनेटली फॉल इन लव विद इट ओके और uh, अब मैं क्या कहूँ बच्चों कहने के लिए तो बहुत कुछ है क्या है आज का होमवर्क क्वेश्चन है सो वॉट इज होमवर्क क्वेश्चन टेल मी द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ वेरिएशन ओके ठीक है आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड लेट मी नो द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन बिलो एंड अप्लाई माई कूपन को डर एम ए के पी आर ओ टू अवेल दिस ऑफर flat 1000 rupee discount okay uh, over our price and uh, enroll in the runa batch asap and let's meet in the next session till then allah hafiz milo hafiz and keep watching vedantu don't forget to like share subscribe and post me your guys take care tada